another day to remind you that we have the best pancake recipes over here and if i told you you've never tried any please try out atakani hii moja so today we are making some orange pancakes and with me here i have my list of ingredients and from this corner i have my self freezing flour i find the self freezing flour gives the best pancakes but if i told you do not have you can also use all purpose flour and you add some baking powder to it i have my cooking oil some salt sugar my orange orange and i have an egg some water and some milk so for the liquid you can also use water alone or you can also use milk alone but i like going half half and the exact quantities are going to be listed in the description box and without further ado let's get started I bought such oranges, five of them at 100 shillings in the CBD. They are currently uh, very many in the market. So I'll start by adding my self freezing flour. Then for the sugar, I'm going to add about two and a half spoons of sugar. But you can also feel free to add as much sugar as you like. I'm also going to add about a pinch of salt. Don't skip out on the salt part. Then I'm going to mix this. Then I'm going to zest my orange and you'll need a grater and we are going to grate only this top orange part. Do not go deep into the white part because the white part is usually very bitter. And you can see it has some oils and this is going to be our flavor for today. So I've used half of it. Then we are going to also mix this. Mm, and they smell amazing. And I'm also going to make sure that the lemon zest is evenly distributed because that's the flavor of today's recipe. Then I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to come back to that in a few. Then let's start going in with our wet ingredients and I'll start by cracking in one egg. I'll also add my water and in this channel what about tishi so uh, this is a recipe that took me time to develop. You should try it out. Then we are going to mix this till everything is well combined. And this looks amazing and smells even better. So at this point, now that this is well combined, I'll go in with my orange juice. And I'm going to be using this juicer that I bought at 95 shillings. You can check that out. I've done a review of it. Then I'm going to add about two tablespoons of orange juice. And you can see that we've already utilized the whole orange. And wow, look at this. I think I'll add a little bit more. This looks amazing. Mmm, tastes even better. Then I'm going to go in with my cooking oil and I'm going to add about two tablespoons of cooking oil. And we are not going to be using any other cooking oil in the cooking process. Then I'm also going to go in with my orange juice. 
Then I'm going to mix this till everything comes in together and we have one very smooth consistency. And also make sure you reach to the bottom of the bowl so that you can remove any lumps that you might be hiding. And how easy was that? Check out this, and this is the consistency that we want. Very smooth and aromatic. Uh -huh. So let's proceed to the other side and let's get started. Once my pan is hot enough, I'll go in with about a spoon of butter, just like that. Then I'm likely going to press it in a circular motion, and that's the perfect size. Then I'm going to cook this till bubbles form on the top part, and also it becomes dry. So this is what I was talking about, and I'm pretty sure that this is ready to be flipped. Oh, look at that. Let's talk about the color. Now, tamuiko apa. I you just have to try this recipe. Atakama, you don't try other recipes of mine. Please make sure you try this recipe. And as I mentioned, the exact quantities are going to be listed in the description box. So after turning it, this other side doesn't take really long to cook. In about 45 to 50 seconds, it should be ready for flipping. And look at this, look at the beautiful color. Then this is ready to be gotten off. And make sure not to scrape your pan.
So as you've seen, it was that easy preparing these orange pancakes and I hope you're going to give this a try. So uh, let's appreciate the color. And also, I'm not pretty sure if you can see the orange dress, but they are in here. And then also notice that our pancakes today have a tint of some orange because of the orange juice and the orange dress. And let's give this a taste test. You can see how fluffy they are. Mm. Hmm. 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 This is good. Mm. I've served many some white coffee. Mm. 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 This is good. The orange zest takes it to another level and also the orange juice that we added gives it some good sweetness. I hope you enjoyed. I also hope you're going to enjoy this recipe. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.